Hey folks, Technivorous here. It has been a while since I've done a cure video and I haven't updated in a while so we're gonna go ahead and update. This is gonna be a kind of a state of the Kira video and I'm just gonna do the whole download process, look and see what's new and see uh, where we're at. Yeah, so I missed about four versions. I'm gonna be doing a full review on Kira 5.1 5.10.0 uh, in a coming video but for now let's just get it downloaded open it up kind of take a peek around and then uh, we'll take a more serious look at the new features in another video I just kind of want to see what I've been missing the last couple months let's go ahead head over here and grab it for Windows now the nice thing about Kira is it doesn't really take too long and uh, the interface never really changes too drastically, so I'm curious to see what's changed in the last four versions. We're going to have to go back and go through some uh, some of the what's new for the prior updates. So we are all downloaded here. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Says it's done. Don't want to show up though. Let's see here. Got it. Yes, there. And next. And next. All right. So it will take a minute here to set up. It doesn't take long. Generally, the first third takes a bit, and then it just jumps to the end. Um, things I'm curious about is what changes they've made to some security features and uh, infill features and things like that that I, I haven't really uh, been able to explore yet. So we're going to get into those in this video. Uh, kind of wanted to do this in real time, but it does take a second. So let's just pause until it pops up. All right, so that took about two minutes. Let's go ahead and open it up here. And I want to go through some of the history of the updates to see what I've been missing out on. Now, I haven't been around for a while. I haven't been making as many videos. I hope to get back to doing that soon. And uh, I guess we'll see if I find the time. But I I'm trying to make it. Uh, I really do enjoy making videos, and I do enjoy 3D printing. I think we'll probably do some videos on some stuff other than just 3D printing as well. But we're working on it. Alright, so here we are. Here's the what's new section. Uh, support for, I guess we can do this this uh, latest update first. Support added for Ultimaker S8. Eh. 3D Space Mouse by 3D Con. Oh, okay. Commonly used CAD interface. Okay, up upcoming changes for USB connected printing. New users will need to enable USB manually. We have added a hidden setting, enable disable USB printing. Uh, okay, all right, well that's cool. And Ultimaker Digital Factory. So this is what I was kind of looking for here because this will show me the release notes for the last couple releases. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything in this version that is really, I mean, there's a lot of new features and improvements. There's the Space Mouse again. Purge lines and unload filament post-processing script. That could be interesting. Relative extrusion for Marlin G code. That's a good one, actually. We'll, we'll probably do a video on exploring that because uh, it's it's a pretty handy tool. Um, new settings, overhang wall speeds. That's interesting. This I like. This is a lot of new settings here, and this is just this version. So we got a ways to go in this video to go back through. <coughs> Excuse me. Minimum layer time with overhang. Inside travel avoid distance. Pressure advance factor setting. You can now tune the bottom surface skin like you can tune the top surface skin. Mon 
monotonic bottom surface order. Ooh, all right, that's uh, that should come up with. Uh, depending on your bed type, you, you should be able to get some really clean prints there. That's. Uh, I mean, not a lot of people think that the bottom is uh, an important piece when when you're looking at something, but some things are used on all sides if it's a utilitarian thing. And, um, that's kind of cool. All right, so bug fixes. Solve the crash. Random seam no longer favors one side and is truly random again. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, yeah, lots of bugs. Then they fixed some more bugs since the beta. Added printer definitions, profiles, and materials. All right, so what did I miss in 5.9.1? 5, 5, added an about page that showed some of the used sources, their licenses. Okay. Uh, 5.9. Scarf seam setting, experimental. I'm gonna have to check that out. In fact, I'm gonna make a note of that right now before I forget. Uh, updated the start and end G code options for mo for both machine and extruder. Introduced build fan speed at height. That's interesting. It's those. Uh, Huh. Uh, and number to control extra fans like those controlling the build volume separately. So that's good for enclosed printers if you have an extra fan. Uh, added the extra infill lines to support skin. Printing over sparse infill more reliable. I think that's something worth looking at too. Significant UI speed improvements. Option for I'm not really interested in options just for Ulta makers because I don't know a single person that has one. Uh, added an option to export package for technical support, improve. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, and, and like I said, this video right now is just my reaction. This is a good place. Sometimes I go in and get ideas for videos, um, just making a video on checking out a particular new setting, like the note I just made. But um, yeah, like I said, we'll have a full in-depth. Uh, check out of just this version's updates in an upcoming video. I just uh, I don't really do reaction videos, but I do do a lot of looking through stuff like this, and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, tell everybody how I feel and what I'm thinking. Gradual flow engine plug into Kira engine. The insert at layer change improved and expanded the insert at layer change post-processing script that's one to check out too the time-lapse post-processing script has been improved and expanded we're gonna be checking that out too uh, registry entry to prevent the option to silent uninstall okay uh, lots of bug crashes from that version printer definitions they added a bunch of maker bots ESO oh oh wait yeah ESO M500, M600, and a couple different brands they got in there now. Um, Creality CRM4. Uh, Alright, so 5.81 was a bug fix. Fixed and issue materials cannot be synced to Ultimaker printers. And some profile improvements. 5.8. No, I'm only going back to 5.7 5, 5 will be the last one I checked because 5.6 was my last version. So. Uh, Z seam on vertex. They put in a lot of different Z seam options in the last couple versions. Seam overhang angle enables you to select the angle at which Z seams will not be printed on overhangs. This is interesting. Man, as you can see when this opened up, all my settings popped open over here, and there are just so many that for new users it could really be overwhelming, but if you know what you're doing and you use them one at, one at a time and, and add to what you use to improve your prints, you're gonna be uh, slowly getting better and better quality and learning more about the, the workflow and how to do it, but uh, it's not as, as hard as it looks. And you can always just set it on easy settings and, and let it print for you too. Um, as long as you got a good profile, normally that'll, that'll work for you. But uh, search bar is added to add offline printer. Support infill density multiplier initial label layer cooling during extruder switch. That's a good setting to have if you have uh, two extruders. Uh, 
track behavior. Updated the interleave prime tower with prime tower. Less filament, okay, priming tower. So, and then some bug fixes there. No oh man, they had a couple bug fixes on, on the 5.7. So 5.7.2. Five, seven, two. Five, seven, two. Minor fixes, prime blobs, interleave prime tower can now be printed with a raft. Uh, Ultimaker factor four support for five seven one fixed a bug where support lines were printed multiple times. Okay, well that's not a good bug to have. I'm glad they got that out of there. Uh, and then five seven. This is the last version I'm going to go over here. So thanks for sticking around and listening to me rant and rave and if any of these uh settings that i've gone over sound like they'd make a good video to you let me know down below in the comments just drop it in there and i'll see if i can try it out also i still do do kira questions i haven't gone through all my comments lately like i said I, i've been away for a little while but um i plan on going through the comments and picking out some good kira questions in there too because there's a lot of them so you'll be seeing those videos coming up and that playlist expanding soon too so um new prime tower options Brim only on the inside, that's interesting. Define print sequence manually when printing one at a time. That's interesting too, because uh, printing one at a time has a lot to do with your gantry height, and if you define the sequence yourself, you might have more options for, for how to play that out. Play speed of the nozzle in the preview is now closer to the movement of the print head. So it should be in real time, at least closer to real time. Introduce an option to choose drop model to build plate every time a project file is loaded. Introduce display info on LCD post-processing script, which combines. Okay, so that's actually really interesting too, and we're gonna play around with that too, um, just to see what we can get it to throw up there. Um, but I like that, so. All right, so method X specific improvements. I don't know if I need to look at that. Holy, there's a bunch of bugs there. Bugs resolved since beta and all those printer definitions. All right, and that's where we're gonna stop right there. So from here up, uh, yeah, if there's a setting in there that you saw or something that you're curious about, that's about how long I've been away not making my videos. So uh, we will uh, check the comments. If you got a cure question or a setting you'd like to check out, we will do that and expect a video soon on uh, just this version and its updates the, like I normally do every time they drop one. I'm not sure when exactly that version was released. Um, but, yeah, I can't find it now. I think I closed the download page. But we will be back with another video soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on this video just because I need to get back into the algorithm here. And I appreciate you guys for coming. Technivorous out.